everybody. Welcome back. We are playing Monster Prawn. I'm here with Aaron. I'm Aaron. And, uh... Oh god, oh, it's me. I have to play. Aaron's up first! Oh, fuck. I gotta bring the mic over. What am I doing? Uh, okay, so you gotta decide who you want to sit next to. Oh, well, obviously my girl. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> you take your seat and- oh, she's wearing a cute outfit. If you didn't know any better, you would say that it seems like Vera and Polly are almost more interested in their phones than they are in you. No! Uh-oh. Damn, that's Snake Girl's Just hot. like real life. And you do- and, and you do know better, and you know that, yes, this is exactly what's happening right now. Oh. It's nothing personal, Torchy. It's just that Polly and I are very engrossed in texting our financial slaves. Yeah, it's pretty hard to compete with some guy whose fetish is buying you anything you want. That's my fetish, too. Not buying things for people, having people buy things for me. Duh. Good thing he's rich enough to take care of both of us. You know what they say. True friendship is sharing secrets and financial slaves. Aww. Still, I do worry that all this arrangement might not be sustainable. What happens if he runs out of money? Our cash flow instantly stops. Besides, being handed everything you want on a platter. In this case, the platter being an online money transfer platform. <laughs> is almost boring? Oh, damn. Oh, damn. So much more in life. Yeah, I get that. It's a little less boring when you're on as much cocaine as I am right now, but I see what you mean. Can she still have cocaine as a ghost? Yeah, I don't know. If we could somehow turn this into a business venture, then maybe it would get interesting and we could continue to profit even after he's gone broke from catering to our every whim. I mean, how interesting do you think a business actually is? Since he's so obsessed with us, we should just tell him to do something totally insane and see if he does it. Yeah. I don't know, weirdo giving away his money and getting into hijinks is great and all, but I want to start making real money. Damn, she's an entrepreneur. And I think money is fine and all, but my favorite currency is chaos. And she's crazy. Yeah. Hmm, seems like the ladies are at a very exciting crossroads. Maybe a random bystander can give them a nudge in the right direction. All right, what do you want to do? Uh, you can easily grow this arrangement into a business. Just escalate and delegate. Have the financial slave go and acquire his own financial slave to give him money, and give that financial slave go and find an answer. That's a Ponzi scheme. Yeah, that's a pyramid. Tell scheme. him to marry a llama. Tell him to do the Ponzi scheme. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that would increase our outcome. Oh, you only won points with her. Oh. Ah, that would increase our income exponentially immediately, mm. which are two of my absolute favorite adverbs when it comes to monetary gain. Yes. I mean, one financial slave between the two of us is already strangely a lot to handle, so managing an army of them sounds draining. Well... But as long as a pyramid scheme and we're at the top of the pyramid, uh, where we don't have to actually deal with any low lives, who cares? Meh. I think I'll just go check on my toilet wine. Well, joke's on you, because I think they're both cute. <laughs> Don't worry about her. Polly wouldn't know a good business idea if it slapped her on the ass. Which happened one time, actually, but it's a long story, so forget it. Anyways, we can tell people in order to become official certified financial slaves, they have to buy a kit of supplies. Ooh. And they'll start a dirt slave, and then if they get five financial slaves under them, they can become a pathetic ground slave. And then they can work their way all the way up to gold, diamond, platinum, sha sal chow, mocha grand supreme slave. Wow. This is a great idea, Torchy. We should go write the business plan together and prepare to profit. Hell yeah, let's write it together. <laughs> Do you like her more In now? my bedroom. Did, did Vera just say she wants to profit with you? Holy shit, Vera sharing her cash flow is like third base for her. Awesome. Let's go. Wow, yeah. what about you? Uh, wow, who's this cat person? They're new. Oh, I've she's seen cute. them before. Meow meow. But I could sit next to my guy. I mean, that's the point. You want to win, right? You want to get your date, right? Uh, well, I don't know. Who did you choose? I didn't choose. I got him. Well, I think you can choose anything. You just... You're more prone to going out with the dude that you like. Ah, uh, yeah. Because your stats are stacked towards that person. I like this person because they look like you, but I want to hear what your character has to say. So I'm going to invite you. As you approach Scott and Miranda's table, you see that the entire table is covered in exotic silverware. Ooh. Ah, what's this one for? <laughs> you voice your own character. Yeah. That's the forking spoon. It's a spoon for picking up with forks so you don't have to touch them with your fingers. And that one? That's the tuning fork. It's for making sure all your other silverware is tuned to A minor, as it's proper. What about this one? That's the dairy knife. It's for milk. <laughs> wow! Do people ever invent new silverwares? All the time, but none of them are any good. It would take a genius of true subtlety to improve on the existing canon. A genius of true subtlety. Genius and subtlety are your middle fucking names. <laughs> you suggest the ultimate new silverware. A right. Salad harp. Salad harp or, or hands. hands. Uh, I think your guy would be more into hands. Yeah. Yes. My favorite silverware! 
He gads, how crude. I know, right? My only favorite are silverwares are face and mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, I think you're misunderstanding the purpose of silverware. Nah, I don't think so. Look. Scott reaches into his backpack and pulls out two silver hands, a silver face, and a silver mouth. What? <laughs> he holds the hands in his hands, the face in his mouth, and devours his lunch with a highly counterintuitive way. I stand corrected. You're not standing, you're sitting. <laughs> anyway, now I gotta put on some ointment. All that silver is really bad for my skin. Oh my god. Scott lets you put the ointment on him. Nice! Nice. Alright, everybody choose a food. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Biscuits and gravy. Uh, oh, oh, uh, pizza. Play were decided based on how filthy this sounds. Hey, darling, my blank is moist and ready for you. My biscuits and gravy is moist and ready for you. Yeah, that definitely sounds worse than my Woo! pizza is ready for you. So you're first again. Hell yeah. So you could sabotage me and take my guy, right? Well, oh, I guess so, but I don't want to do that. Mm. I don't want your guy. All right. That, that uh, would be masturbation. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah, because you voice him. Uh, oh, what's this? Ah, a little uh, cheat sheet. Oh, the kitty girl is in the bathroom right now. That's that's cheating. Can you see her? In oh, there? interesting. Okay, so what am I right now? You're the this one. Okay, so I'm red. So my top is boldness. So I should go to the bathroom. But, but now I'm like, I'm kind of into this demi gorgon chick. <laughs> mm, she might be in the library. Yeah, this is what it looks like she's at. I'll take the library. Okay. That day Whoa, you spent some time. In, <laughs> that day you spent some time in the library's PCs mining some bitcoins. This is supposed to have something to do with solving algorithms and the rise of cryptocurrency, but you guess that nobody actually has any fucking idea how it really works. Anyway, you gain plus two bitcoins, which is equal to two, two million. million dollars. Which you unfortunately is equal to two monster dollars, so plus two money. Oh. Oh, I got money. Yeah. Polly seems really excited about trying a reverse Romanian Wilkinson with you. And the only thing you have to do is to get all the needed supplies. Which would be fine, except you have no idea what any of them are. Luckily, you've got a few spare minutes to try and figure this out. You do a quick search on your phone because you assume the internet must know something about this as long as it's related to very weird sex fetishes. Hmm, nothing. While trying other keywords, you spot the coven Coven, looking over at your phone. Oh, Whoa. yes, they're new. Hello. Always the same with you. Yes. <laughs> what? Could it possibly be that they know something about the reverse Romanian Wilkinson? <laughs> no, they're always bitching so much about saving the world, they would never admit they're into those kinds of very weird sex fetishes. Maybe you're not searching hard enough on the net. Or maybe you're letting your prejudices blind you. There's not much more time to lose here. The solution is clear. You're tackling online searching in a very short-sighted way. You need to come up with an ex unexpected search terms that will point you in the right direction, or use your people skills to get the three witches to admit they know what a reverse Romanian Wilkinson is and to tell you what you need it for. Hmm. Uh, what you need for it. Um, I want to talk to the girls. Yeah, but they could also lie to you and put you in the wrong direction, so they don't know what it is. Uh, Alright, let's do the first one. Okay. Oh. Not so creative. Uh -oh. Two last points. Reverse Romanian Wilkinson didn't work. You also tried other similar combinations of words, but you end up on the Wikipedia pe Wikipedia page for Romania, which leads you somehow to the page for Zakuska, which looks quite appetizing. <laughs> then you go to a blog about international recipes that you use eggplant, and suddenly you're watching a YouTube video that reveals that eggplants are called that because they used to look exactly like eggs. Oh. Whoa, this is so amazing. Oh wait, what? Uh, Ten hours have passed in a blink of an eye. You're now super into K-pop. You've bought 20 exotic crabs for some reason, and you've become a very respectable admin on some dog racing forums. <laughs> what? You're quite sure you were looking for something else when all this started, but you can't quite remember what it was. Something about Romania? Eh, who cares. You're now the owner of 20 exotic crabs. Fuck it! But so oh. much erratic web searching made you lose minus two charm and minus one smarts. Oh, Susie, that's sad. I gotta make my own decisions! Hey, I'm not- I'm just offering you options. No, I'm not making no, decisions for you. No, no, no. Alright, uh... Uh, ooh, the creepiest tree back here. I don't know what that face equates to, so I don't know who that is, but I'm thinking about going over here. Cool. That, that day during- oh, sorry, yeah. That, that day during recess, you start a half-hour rave that goes full crazy. You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point, there are like 300 people. Whoa. 
Someone summons demons from a nightmare dimension. The consequences <laughs> might distort the fabric of reality itself, but who cares? It's a rad party. Game plus two fun. Yeah. Plus two fun. You had like zero fun before. Wow. You're minding your own business when Damien comes rushing through, punching everyone who's minding their own business. Hey. Oh, he's following me. Fuck, I'm so angry! I'm so angry I want to pull my own skull out and eat it. Oh my god. I'm so angry I want to set the school on fire and then punch the fire in its fucking face. I'm so angry I want to spend years accumulating political capital so I can become president and use my nuclear codes to blow up the sun. Oh my god. And you, you're standing in my way. Move before I punch you so hard you'll remember what melon with melancholy the times when you could move without all of your bones hurting. Oh no, violence incoming. Think fast. Uh, joke's on you, pal. I'm pragmatist. Pragmatist. A pragmatist. Yeah, pragmatist. I avoid any kind of idealization of the past because it has no use and therefore I refuse feeling any kind of melancholy or no time to think of anything clever. Start dancing for no reason. Mm, he's going to go for the first reason. Do you think so? Don't you think? T doesn't seem like an intellectual. I don't know. The choice is yours. Uh, Choi choice is yours. Uh, I don't want to lead you down the wrong path like somebody else did. What? Hmm, what? What's up? I was just saying, yeah. like, you never know. Ugh, all right, I'm gonna do this one. So you, fun. You, you have, have no idea what to do, so you just start doing a silly dance. It is really, really silly indeed. Oh no. Before you realize all your classmates have joined you in your silly little dance. What the fuck? <laughs> Move or I will kill you dead, noob. Oh my god, you call me noob? But Damien, you can't deny she is actually moving. <laughs> uh, yeah, quite the moves she has. <laughs> Clearly even Damien can't fight against logic. Maybe you should move, Damien. Don't be a loser. Yeah, as you just said, here you move or you die. All your classmates start chanting, move or die, move or die. <laughs> That's funny. Ah, this, co this company also published a game called Move or Die, which <laughs> oh. I was also an announcer in. Oh. Damien, frustrated by the crazy mindless but joyful mob you've created, finally leaves. Still from afar, you can see an eternal fire burning in the back of his eyes. But for now, you gain plus two boldness and plus one fun. Did but I didn't lose any points to them. I guess no, that's good. No, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Wow, congratulations. Something happened to... Ah! Oh, oh God. Well, next time on the next episode of Kitty Cat Gaming, we're going to find out what happened to me. Uh, please be sure to that subscribe button so you guys don't miss it. And check out Aaron on Game Grumps or at Egoraptor on Twitter. Um, and we'll see you guys all next time. Bye, everybody.